A lot of our clients, when they reach out to us, they actually, uh, they've already implemented sleep in their practice, but they haven't found a system or a way that they can actually scale that so that they're doing more sleep. I started screening all my new patients and existing patients when I got back into practice and for whatever reason was just not able to really get it going consistently and get it kicked off and off the ground. But um, again, they don't have a system that they can implement in order to scale their sleep practice. So that's where we come in and, and we're able to instantaneously bring them, you know, 60, 100 inquiries a month, people wanting to learn more about alternatives to sleep CPAP or, or maybe those patients are CPAP intolerant or they're experiencing signs and symptoms of obstructive sleep apnea, uh, but they're, they're kind of scared of being put into, their CPAP, into a CPAP by their primary care. So when I saw the ad for Dental Sleep Profits, I reached out to Todd. We had a great phone conversation. The vibe I got from Todd was great. He just was very sincere, genuine, honest, transparent. And as you all know, you just can tell when you talk to a person, um, you know, who they are, what they stand for, and his sincerity just really shined through. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna take a step, take a risk. I'm gonna reach out on faith and go for it. What do I have to lose? My sleep medicine practice that I've tried to implement hasn't really gotten anywhere. I need some help, I need some coaching. Now, one of the things that, that we've seen with our system is that it gives our clients a lot more leverage going into those discussions if they're trying to build out a referral network in the community with physicians like ENTs, pulmonologists, etc. cetera. Um, when you can go into that conversation, you can say, Hey, you know, hey doc, I got, you know, 60 to 100 people reaching out to me about obstructive sleep apnea every single month. I'd like to work with a physician locally, an ENT or a pulmonologist or a cardiologist locally here who I can refer these patients to uh, and make sure that both of us are doing what's best for these patients. Uh, that gives our clients a lot more leverage in these conver uh, conversations rather than just going in with nothing to offer. So I'm surfing one day on uh, Facebook and I happened to see this ad pop up and it says, you know, you've gone to classes, you've learned how to do everything. Uh, they told you that patients would just be coming to your door and you would be getting and treating patients. It's not happening. And it said, we can deliver patients to you, sleep apnea patients. And it was your company. And yeah. so I gave you a call and we hit it off. I liked what you had to say. You were honest with me. And um, we started working together and been doing it been doing it ever since. You know, we've had clients who have only produced one, maybe one to three appliances annually, uh, closed on those cases. And, and within their first month, month and a half, uh, they've closed between eight and 10 appliances. And it really, really is uh, just amazing to see how quickly you can scale a sleep, sleep practice when you're getting the right message in front of the right people at the right time. And that really is the key. Since I've been with Todd and Dental Sleep Profits and Elevation Media, I am working on closing my eight sleep appliance and it's only been about a month and a half. Right now, sleep dentistry is what dental implants were 35, 40 years ago. Just on the cusp of, of becoming a, a primary focus for providers. And then we would get, you know, 20, 30, 40 hits and patients would give me their information and then I would contact them and we would yeah. go from there. Yeah, that's great. And and have the results they've been keeping up? Like every month you have a reliable source of, of information opportunities? On the head. So, so that's great. So what did you guys end up doing in the way of revenue in the month? Uh, I think it was March when things shut down. What'd you guys end up doing? I think in March we did about twenty thousand dollars that month, and um, it was all it was all primarily because of you. Um, I had yet built up a um, a good physician referral base yet. Now, now, what we see when a new client comes on, it doesn't matter where in the United States um, our clients are located. When we go into those cities and we begin advertising um, through the channels that 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 we advertise through. Literally, there's not a single office, whether it's in Atlanta, Chicago, or a rural town in Oklahoma. Literally, there is not a single dental office advertising 
their solution for obstructive sleep apnea. Our sleep patients come in and they, they immediately go, well, is this all you do? Do you just do sleep? Do you do other things? And I'm like, of course, we're a comprehensive general dentistry cosmetic practice. So I have not only gained sleep patients, I have gained permanent lifelong patients. This is, this is complete green field uh, in the way of advertising. You have zero competition. Appreciate it, Todd. You've done a great job for us. And you know, as you know, every time you call me to talk to somebody, I'm, I'm really willing to do it for you. Awesome. We contribute a lot of the success to the fact that nobody else is doing this. And all of our clients, when they join us, they really are first to market uh, when it comes to advertising sleep. So yeah, it has a lot to do with their success.